What's up, people? My name's Jack. Welcome back to another video here on my channel. Good morning. It's 9.30 a.m. and I'm making a video on HitFilm Express, one of the single best free video editing softwares you can find on the internet. It's actually one of two, in my humble opinion. Without further ado, let's get into the video. On the screen is HitFilm Express 14, the newest version of the free video editing software, HitFilm Express. HitFilm Express 14 on the screen right now. And I actually have some downloads for you guys. What I want you guys to do, if you want to follow through with the tutorial 100%, we're going to be editing a full project together using HitFilm Express 14. And you can, you can actually download um, some clips from a recent club I shot. This is six clips from me filming ASAP Ferg, the rapper in London, a uh, song that we're going to be editing it to. And then I'm actually giving you guys an entire light leak transitions pack with, how many is this? 38 different light leaks in here. So I have no clue whether I paid for this in the past. I, I, I don't think so, but there's a potential that I'm, or it's potentially possible that I'm giving you guys a premium pack and I'm screwing somebody over. But I do not think I am. But on the off chance I am, download it quickly and take advantage of this opportunity. We're going to be building this particular project. So hit Foam Express is open on the screen right now to actually start editing something. We need our clips here. Now we going to go ahead and click import. And what I want to do is actually just navigate to my, uh, my folder in this particular case, it's called YouTube video. And I'm literally just going to drag or highlight all of these particular clips right here. And then I'm also going to highlight the song and I'm going to click open. And it's going to literally open it all up in our, our media viewer right here. And essentially, we can start putting things together. Now, what I want to do is I want to use speed transitions and light leaks to blend clips together. So I want, um, or all these clips, I believe, are shot in 120 frames a second slow motion, which is great, which means that they're nice and smooth. But what we could do is we could speed the beginnings up and the ends up of two clips so they look like they speed into each other. And that coupled with a light leak transition, which have... Um, sound effects attached, by the way. Um, oh, wrong screen. Let me, as you see, that speed effect coupled with the light leaks is going to make a nice little effect. And it's going to be very, very simple. Even my beginners can follow through as at the end of the day, HitFilm Express is a free video editing software. A lot of my beginners will be using this, but it's an advanced and free video editing software. That's for absolute sure. Now, I'm going to drag and drop my first clip into here, and I'm actually just going to go ahead and um, extend how big the, uh, the preview window is and just go ahead and press spacebar and play it. And this is a club in London called Cirque Le Soir. And it looks like that is the that is the pan right there. So that's that's what we want. We, 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 so we're, we're looking for the movement in the clip. So what we can actually do is we could use a shortcut. We could press C, which is the, the, the cut tool, essentially. We could tap that there, press V, which which chops back to our normal tool, our old selection tool. We could actually just go ahead and, uh, and, and chop off the, the bit on the side, right? And what I can actually go ahead and do is what I want is I want to skip in a little bit, right? Maybe to about there where a little bit of the movement has already happened. Press C, chop it down and actually just right click and go to speed and duration. And this is 120 frames a second. A normal clip is 30 frames a second. So we know that this is four times slow motion. So if we wanted to make it regular speed, we'd have to do it 400%. But if we want to make it two uh, double speed, we go 800%. And we type that in, we drag this clip over, and now we should get the speed effect, just like that, where it sort of flies on and then sort of goes into slow motion. And then we can actually go ahead and chop it again, right click, and actually just go ahead and uh, put it back up to 800. So the end also speeds out, um, and, and maybe we uh, we go across until the light ends, and we could just chop it right there. So um, as we look, in a matter of seconds, we've created this sort of speed in, goes to slow motion, which we haven't even had to edit the slow motion because the clips themselves are slow motion. And we've just got this nice sort of first intro sequence, which is kind of an establishing shot of the club. As you see, there's some dancers on the side. There's some fire going on in the background. You could see a whole bunch of people with their phones and stuff. So it's a good little establishing shot, right? Um, and I'm actually going to press Control S because right off the bat, I want to get in the, the habit of saving. Um, hit film master project. I'm just going to call it master project because that sounds like a powerful name. And uh, we're all about power here on Monday morning when I'm recording this particular video. You guys are probably seeing it a little bit later in the week, maybe Thursday. Thursday is still a powerful day, I promise you. Don't worry. Keep going. All right? I hope on Thursday I, I got the energy I got today. <laughs> let's, let's keep it rolling. Next clip is um, some bottles, right? So it looks like what we could do is we could speed up the um, the sort of transition into maybe maybe when the light comes on, as we see, like right about there, some light comes on. So we could actually go here, chop it, right click it, go to speed and duration and make that 800. 
and drag it over. Now, there's one thing that I've just realized, and let's go ahead and play this and see how, how, how it flies in. It's looking nice. It's looking like it works works together nicely, but there's one thing we want to do is drag and drop the song, and um, what we actually want to do is put that on a different track, all right? So we leave these guys, even though there's no sound on the particular clips, but other clips will have audio layers as well, so we'll just leave that as a blank layer. And what I want to actually go ahead and do is, um, actually, thinking about it, I might actually have to go to uh, the audio settings real quick and just quickly change which speakers this is actually coming out of because I think let's give this a play yeah the the, the the audio is coming out of the um the uh, speakers right here when it should be coming out of the actual um, headphones right here so I think I might need to shut this program down two seconds there we go we're all good the reason for that was because I had headphone Express open before my headphones were set as the primary output device and now I just had to close it one time and reopen it we're absolutely fine but let's listen to the song Let's find out where we want to start putting the, you know, basically syncing stuff up. I'm waiting for a beat. I'm waiting for a drop. So we can sync that. So it's looking like it's coming. Looking like that's it right there. There we go. So we hear it. Pretty epic. I like it. I'm going to press C. And I'm actually going to chop that right there. And what I'm actually going to go ahead and do is I'm going to bring that to right here. As we see right here, the first introduction right there, um, or in fact, what we could do is have it building up for a second, thinking about it. So what I want to do is let's have a look at how this looks first. Okay. So it's looking all right. I'm liking that. I'm actually just going to leave that there. I'm going to drag that over. So now we know that this one right here, we want to be transitioning out. And remember, what we're doing is we're building the skeleton first. This is always what I do. I build a little skeleton first, then we'll start putting the overlays on top. And we'll also do some color grading and stuff as well. Let's have a look. Let's play this one more time, see where we're at. So what I want to do is actually have it so that on that drop, it cuts. So let's have 800. Boom. It should chop right there on that beat. So now, if we actually go over here and play, So we're trying to just sync it as loosely as we can to that beat. And now I want to bring a clip of ASAP Ferg on, who is obviously the, the headliner of the night. Uh, and let's actually just go ahead and, and have a look. It looks like what we could do is we can have a look at stuff, obviously, in our preview window before we bring it in, because I know there's a specific clip of ASAP Ferg that I want, which is when he points. He actually points to the crowd, and that would make a really good shot for us. There we go. So I'm able to see that in our preview window before we actually export anything. I could press I, which is an in point, which means that it'll start from that point. I can now drag and drop that over here. I could pop that right about there. And what I can actually do um, is I can actually uh, just go along and I could find that point probably right there, chop it, delete it. Our in point doesn't seem to have uh, applied. I think I did something wrong. No problem, no problem. Um, and what we can actually do is we can actually speed up right there until the light comes on of his point, right click it, go ahead and put this on 400 because I think he does that pretty quick. We want to want to make it seem normal speed. And we can come back over here, let's play it from the start, see if that lines up. Mm -mm. So what we want here is we want it doesn't it doesn't happen quick enough. So what I'm actually gonna go ahead and do is bring this over, probably chop it maybe there, highlight these two and bring it over again. Let's see what this is looking like. There we go, so that's looking good. Boom. And what we can actually do here is actually go ahead and speed it up again. Speed it up to 400. And on that chop, chop that right there and bring in a, another clip. And what we can actually do is bring in potentially this one of the DJ. And it's looking like if we, uh, if we bring this over, yeah, there is a, a sort of a light. Now that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the lights really. 
I want it to look uh, golden. Boom, chop it on that next beat as well. And I'm pressing Control S, by the way, as I, as I go through and do some stuff, all right? Because the worst thing is if we get a crash and we haven't been saving along the whole time. Um, now I'm actually gonna go ahead and have a look at these right here. Loop playback, set in point. Yes, set in point. And insert clip, boom. Let's, uh, let's scroll over, press Control Z, undo that. Um, bring this over, over here. Drag and drop this right here. Zoom in, line it up actually nicely. Bring it over, bring it over, bring it over, bring it over. We gotta find that sort of, that tick. It's looking like there. There you go, that, that's the one. Nah, this is it, this is it. There you see, see, you can get away with the, vid the video looking real nice, even though nothing effect-wise has happened. You've just sort of made room for the, for the light, as you see right here, the actual light itself. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this whole scene on 400. Let's have a look. Ooh. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and bring that down to 100 again. So I built, this, I built the structure. Boom, chop that there. And just like that, we built a structure that we can actually enhance upon. So let's actually play this from the beginning, see what it's looking like. And just like that, that is done and dusted. However, it's far from done. We gotta do a couple key things. Now there's one very specific thing we can do right away to get some colors out of it, right? And that is find the auto color. Auto color, or all we have to do is type in color, right? And we can find auto color. Now, let me see if I, if I highlight everything and drag and drop it, it does apply to absolutely everything. So I've highlighted everything, drag and dropped it. And what that does is it just throws a little bit of extra enhancement there. I don't know if it's maybe some uh, some contrast, some brightness or, or what, but it makes stuff pop a little bit more. Just that tiny little auto color effect. And uh, overall, I'm gonna throw it on there. I'm just gonna go ahead and play this one more time. There we go. Boom, looking lovely right there, looking lovely indeed. And what we can actually go ahead and do is throw a couple transitions over the top. So where I wanna put the transitions, if, if we zoom in, we know that we want something to transition in. So transition in right there, and then we wanna transition in the middle of all of our clips. That's obviously how we blend stuff together. So what I wanna do is I wanna literally just line this up over here on the side, and um, actually go ahead and click import, and go here, and just literally import, let's say, I'm just gonna pick a couple that kinda of look like they be, like they potentially hold up well, right? I'm just cut, selected a few, clicking open, and we're actually gonna let them open themselves up right here. And I'm literally just gonna drag and drop them uh, above. But actually what I need to do is I need to have a look and I need to bring this right here, bring it out, and see if I can get just the, just the video on its own. Insert B-roll, there we go. But I need to insert that as an overlay over the top. What, I, what I'm gonna do, actually, is bring the audio down one layer, and then I'm actually gonna be able to be able to overlay these over the top. And what I wanna do is I wanna bring this to the start. I wanna go ahead and have a look at this, and interesting. So I wanna actually get the, the climax, the top point, and have that as the absolute start. And these are super easy. All you need to do is overlay them, go to blend, and just, you could pick add. You could also pick uh, screen. Add is a little bit more thorough. As you see right there, we're instantly start to overlay some stuff. And what's cool about these is they have built-in sound effects as well, and those are completely for free. Download them if you guys want them. And essentially, I'm just gonna keep scrolling through. And I'm actually just gonna find the middle points of all of these, and I'm literally just gonna go ahead and, and whack them down in the middle, and uh, actually go to blend mode and just click add. Boom. 
just like that, you see that the addition of these is becoming very, very cool indeed. Um, let's actually go ahead and drag and drop this right here. Again, we just want to find that middle point, maybe drag those over a little bit. MT7, no problem at all. Right click and blend, add. And as you see, you know, it can get a little bit tedious sometimes, but overall, it's looking like we're doing good. It's looking like we can throw another one right there. Something over the top. As you see, all of them are pretty different, which is cool. So we'll actually have a look in a second which ones maybe have held up the nicest, if you will. But I'm sure all of them look at least semi-cool. That's for sure. Let's bring this over again. Right click, go to blend, go to add. And I think this is our, uh, our final clip right here. Or there you go. We can actually go ahead and delete that one that's at the end. Uh, drag up this bad boy right here. Go ahead and right click that blending mode and go to add. And just like that, we have successfully put together something nice. Now let's actually bring that over there. Bring that there. Delete that. It looks like we actually brought one down on the, on the wrong layer. Let's go to the start. And let's actually just bring this out so we can watch it in nice, nice size. Let's actually go ahead and click spacebar to play it and watch what we created. Not too shabby at all. There you go. And that right there is Hit Film Express. Free video editing software. Absolutely amazing. Shout out to Hit Film Express for sponsoring today's video. Shout out to Ollie and the whole team down there at the FX motherfucking team. FX home. And um, hell yeah. Thank you guys for watching today's video. That right there is how to edit for free using Hit Film Express. Finally, let's do the absolute final deal the real deal the export and what we can actually go ahead and do is bring that over here probably press o set the out point and what we're actually going to want to go ahead and do is uh just make sure this is absolutely saved and we're about to export so up here file go to export go ahead and actually save where we're going to put this now i want to put this uh not on my desktop i want to put this go, go ahead and put this in that that folder that i was building stuff in i'm going to call this one the hit film master project render dot finale it's randomest name you've ever seen in your life man things a little bit better than that if i was you guys but overall that right there is it and uh it claims to be starting and just like that it's going to render our particular project we'll be able to come back in one minute and 29 17 14 06 okay never mind it's going to take about a minute and we're going to be able to watch this thing back but overall guys the link to hit film express is in the top line of the description go ahead and sign up make some stuff, send me your edits, whatever the case may be. I thoroughly endorse HitFilm Express, despite the fact that they sponsored today's video. I've made maybe three to five videos on their software in the past before they ever knew about me, ever even, you know, would want to even sponsor my video. And at the end of the day, so, well, I say that to say this, essentially, it's obvious that I actually endorse this this software and uh, I'm not just doing it because they paid me. <laughs> I've made plenty videos breaking down this software in the past and uh, I do believe it is in the top two. DaVinci Resolve and HitFilm Express, I believe are the best free video editing softwares on the internet. Of course, you have paid versions, which are, I mean, it's just, just logically gonna be a little bit better because they've got more stuff, but the free version is a completely standalone, entirely operatable, usable editor. As we've demonstrated today, and as we can literally open up our, our folder and see the project that we've created. Fire! So fire! Woo! Man, I'm not gonna lie, that's a nice little edit, it's a nice little fire edit. 20 minute video, break it down, hit Film Express. The best free video editing software, or one of the two best free video editing softwares. Link to the program is in the top line of the description. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day, and I'll see you in an upcoming video. Or I will not, because this will be the last video you watch of mine. I hope it was the first thing that I said. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Goodbye.